I have seen some comments about refraction that refer to what they call the fish tank experiment. I don't know which experiment they are talking about. I found one by Kyle Adams, where he claims that downward refraction makes objects in a distance look in a lower position than in reality. Let's watch what he does. Next I added a bunch of sugar to the water to create a gradient. Now I'm going to shine a laser through the two fish tanks and you can watch that light bend downward toward the greater density. I also added some washcloths to the bottom of the tanks to help absorb the light and keep it from bouncing back up. First he shines a laser through two fish tanks. First through clear water and then through water with a density gradient produced by a solution of sugar. He demonstrates that the light indeed bends downward and then he places a picture of a sailboat at the end of both fish tanks. He immediately says that the bottom of the fish tanks looks much higher in the refracted image than in the control image. Now let me show you what the boat looks like when the light gets refracted downward. Here our camera is in the exact same location as our control image and now we are looking through a density gradient. Now here's a side by side to compare with our control image. With this the first thing I want to point out is how much higher the bottom of the fish tank appears in our refracted image than it does in our control image. He keeps his red line at the bottom of the tank in the refracted image, but not at the respective horizons. That line should be shifted upward considerably. But he basically admits that downward refraction makes an object in a distance, the bottom of the fish tank, but also the sailboat, appear at a higher position, thus admitting that he was wrong. However, there is no flat earther who let some research ruin a good story. So he desperately looks for some evidence that downward refraction makes objects appear lower than in reality. He comes up with the fact that the top of the sailboat appears lower in the refracted image than in the control image. Here's a close up for better comparison. And as you can see, the top of our refracted boat appears much lower than the top of our control image. And then he draws his conclusion. This creates the effect that makes the boat appear to sink out on the horizon. So boats appearing to sink on the horizon don't prove that the earth is curved. They only prove that we live within an atmospheric gradient. This creates the effect that makes the boat appear to sink on the horizon. Boats appearing to sink on the horizon don't prove that the earth is curved. They only prove that we live in an atmospheric gradient. So he ignores that the entire boat appears at a much higher position than in reality. He ignores that the boat in the refracted image is completely visible. He ignores that he has the refracted image set at a much lower position than the control image. The only thing he has demonstrated that the top of the boat is refracted upward a little less than the bottom, making the boat in its entirety a little bit less higher than in the control image. Does he ignore all these things because he didn't notice them? In that case he is blind as a bat. Or was he a bit sloppy because that suits his narrative? In which case he just has deceived not only himself but also his audience. Or did he purposely manip manipulate what he shows in order to make his false claim look good? In that case Carl Adams is a bold-faced liar. Whatever the case may be, he just has demonstrated the opposite of what he claims. So he is wrong. Horribly wrong. <laughs>